hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve this particular problem in this problem we are required to determine the y coordinate of the centroid of the area under the sine curve shown right so we are given this area which is defined by this y of x function which is equal to a sine of uh, pi x divided by b and we are required to find the y coordinate of the centroid of this given area right so again we can apply the principle of moment equation so we can write that y bar which is the coordinate which is the y coordinate of the centroid of this given area times a equals to uh, yc da right so first we have to define a differential element our differential strip right so let's say that this is my differential element let's say that this is our differential area let's say that this is my differential area right so the height of this differential area is uh, y as we know right so this height is y right and it will vary along the y axis right uh, as we move along x so the height will vary but uh, this will be equal to the y coordinate right so this will be equal to y right and this will be the width of this differential strip will be equal to dx right so now we can say that da will be equal to this dx into y right so we can write that we can write this is y times dx right so now we can write that uh, da is y time dx and y is uh, we can write that y is a sine of pi x divided by b into dx right so this is our da now to apply this equation we have to find this blue area right so this blue area will be equal to will be equal to the summation of all the areas of the differential elements right so we will add that da's right so we will add the differential areas of all the uh, differential elements along the x axis right so we will integrate this from 0 to the maximum value of x which is b right so we will integrate this from 0 to p right so we can write that this is from 0 to b and da is this thing right so i will write that this is a sine of pi x divided by b dx right so if i integrate this so this will be a cause of this will be minus cause right so i have to write minus here so minus cause of pi x divided by b and then we, we will divide it by the derivative of this pi x divided by b so the derivative is pi divided by b and this is from 0 to b right so we can write it like this so this we can write this b in the numerator right so this will be minus a b divided by pi right and this will be minus a b divided by pi we can apply these limits so this will be cause of pi b divided by b minus cos of pi into 0 divided by b so this will be 0 right so this is minus a b divided by pi this will cancel out so cos of cos of pi is uh, minus 1 right so and cos of 0 is 1 so this is minus 1 into mi uh, minus 1 minus 1 so this is minus 2 and minus 2 into minus so this is plus 2 right so we will have 2 a b divided by pi right so this is that area so this is y bar into 2 a b divided by pi right and now what is y c so y c is the distance of the centroid of this differential element from the x axis so let's say that the centroid of this differential element is located somewhere here let's say right so this this distance will be y c right this will be y c so as we can see that if the height of this differential element is y so then y c will be y divided by 2 right so i can say that we can say that y c is equal to y divided by 2 so this is y divided by 2 into d a we can say that this d a is y d x so first i will replace this d a by y d x so then we can say and this integration is again from 0 to b since the integration is with respect to x right so this is from 0 to b and this will become y square 
y square divided by 2 so we can take a 1 divided by 2 out of the integration so this is y square dx right so this is 1 divided by 2 and this is from 0 to b and this is y right this is given so i will write that this is a sine pi x divided by b and whole square right so we can write it as if i apply the square so this will be square and this will be square right and this is dx now to integrate this first we need to simplify this right so i will write that as we know the trigonometric identity that cos of alpha plus beta equals to cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta we know this and if beta is also equal to alpha right so then this will become double angle formula right so then we will have this alpha and this is alpha as well right sin of alpha so this will become cos of 2 alpha and this will become cos square alpha minus sin square alpha and now we know that cos square alpha plus sin square alpha this is equal to 1 right so we can write that cos square alpha equals to 1 minus sin square alpha right so now if i replace cos square alpha by this right so this will be cos of 2 alpha and this will be uh, from in place of this we can write this right so this will be 1 minus sin square alpha minus sin square alpha right so this is cos of 2 alpha 1 minus 2 sin square alpha right so now we have this right so let me write it here that cos of 2 alpha equals to 1 minus 2 sin square alpha right now in our case alpha is this thing right this is our alpha right so alpha in our case alpha equals to pi x divided by b right so i can write this as cos of 2 into alpha so 2 pi x divided by b uh, or let me simplify this let me write it in this form right so we can write it as a 2 sin square alpha 1 minus cos 2 alpha or, or we can say that uh, sin square alpha is equal to 1 minus cos of 2 alpha divided by 2 right now our alpha is this thing right so we can replace this alpha with this right so sin square alpha so alpha is uh, pi x divided by b we can take 1 by 2 as common right so we can write it like this so this will be 1 minus cos of 2 alpha so alpha is again pi x divided by b right so now we can replace this sine square pi x by b by this thing right so this will make uh, us easy to integrate this right so it will make our life easy to integrate this term right so now i will write this as uh, 1 divided by 2 this is from 0 to b a square and uh, in place of this we can write it as we will write this 1 divided by 2 1 minus cos of 2 pi x divided by b and this is dx right so now this will be we can take this a square and this 1 by 2 is common so this will become a square divided by 4 from 0 to b and this is 1 minus cos of 2 pi x divided by b dx so now if we integrate this so this will be a square divided by 4 and this will be 1 dx right so if we integrate this so this will be x minus and the integration of cos is a sine right so this will be minus sine 2 pi x divided by b divided by the derivative of this term right so this will be 2 pi divided by b so this will be from 0 to b right so now if i apply these limits so this will be a square divided by 4 and in place of x we have to write b minus and now i will put b in this as well right so this will be sine 2 pi b divided by b 
divided by 2 pi divided by b and then if we put 0 limit so this will be 0 minus sine of 0 so sine of 0 is 0 so this will be minus 0 right so now uh, we can simplify this this will cancel out b will cancel out and we can take this b to the numerator so this will become b divided by 2 pi right and so we will be left with the uh, here we will be left with sine of 2 pi so sine of 2 pi so sine of 2 pi is 0 right so this whole term becomes 0 this whole term becomes 0 so we are left with a square b divided by 4 and here on the left hand side we have this term right so y times this area so i will write y bar times this area which is 2ab divided by pi right so this will b will cancel out 1a will cancel out so we will be left with this thing right this will be y bar 2 divided by pi and this will be a divided by 4 right so this y bar will be equal to pi a divided by 8 right if we cross multiply this so this will be pi a and this will be 8 so this is the y coordinate of the centroid of this area under this curve which is y equals to a sine of pi x divided by b so this is the required solution of this particular uh, problem uh, kindly like my videos if this help in your learning